Stardate 905-25.98. We have taken the shuttlecraft Nuasis to an undisclosed location away from civilians so that my colleague, Commander Godfrey, and I may test the a replication of the Gorn cannon that was used by Admiral Kirk against the Gorn captain that attacked Cestus III. Yeah, the Metron had captured him and the uh, Gorn captain and put them down on an uh, uncharted planet and had them fight in like an arena battle. They told him there was some kind of weapon on the planet, and to the best of his knowledge, he could find none. So he came up with this. He put together a piece of alien bamboo, which he and his logs say it's very much like earth bamboo. And he found some type of rope or vine and used it to secure the cannon together. And that was the front chamber. And as you saw in our lab studies, you can bind this tightly. So we're going to see if our binding and our gunpowder that we made in the lab, along with a silicate compound, uh, which would be quartz for the common uh, person. Uh, um, so semi-light diamonds. Right, because it's cheaper and easier for us to replicate. And we have our powder that we made in the same fashion he would have made, and we're going to load the cannon up and shoot it and see what we do to our gorn. Captain Kirk said they stuck in the Gorn. This one went straight in. You can see the crystal here. And we got another hole where one went sideways here and went clean through. Looks like it came out the back side. Possibly, yeah. Okay. I mean, it's a beautiful shot. I think we might have hit in this area again because of where we're aiming at. Oh, we got another piece that did some damage here. But this stuff shatters when you shoot it because it's not an actual diamond. Diamonds would stay it's together. It's a silicate. It's yeah. more like shooting flint into yeah. it. But it actually stuck in it. All right, this is Gorn Cannon experiment number two. Commander Godfrey is going to make the same proportionate load of gunpowder. And this time, I think instead of using the quartz, we're going to try a grape shot. Lead to be exact. Very heavy and used in the uh, medieval ages all the way up into the 20th century. It's true. They, they use them all the way up into the 21st century, as a matter of fact. Predating phasers. try some lead shot. Uh, they use this from the medieval eras all the way into what the early 21st century. That's right. We're going to load these in and the idea with that is we're going to see if they do a little bit better than our silicate since we didn't have diamonds replicated for this. Got us a head shot here. Two shots here have missed. One over yeah. here. Yeah. Oh, look down here. We got one here. Some here in the berm. 
some in the barn, some here on the... Uh, I think this is a dead gorn. I think so. If he so. was using diamonds, which would be heavier and much harder. Than the, the, the silicate uh, quartz we used. Yeah, Most I think so. I think that the uh, silicate was too light as well. Diamonds, I believe, are heavier. This is a very successful experiment. Let's try another one with uh, just bird shot. Definitely, because he could have used any size crystals that he found on the planet. Prepare to fire. Fire at will. Fire in the hole. That was nice. You hear that for a long time. That was cool. Let's check it out. This is an impressive example of I'm what amazed. the Gorn Cannon can do. This would be a lot like an old shotgun or a blunderbuss. Yeah, exactly like the old blunderbusses. Exactly. I mean, that's we haven't seen a thing like this in. I don't know where. Well, this is what the kind of things they teach you in survival school in Starfleet Academy. I don't see why they how it could, he couldn't do it. Yeah. It perplexes me that people in the past think that it's impossible that somebody like Admiral Kirk couldn't pull off something like that. Well, sure you got some bullseyes engineers. here. I know that much. They say there's some kind of engineers, but I doubt it. See your bullseyes? It's very nice. I'd say I it's successful. One dead gorn. Great success. Fire the hole! Metron thinks you're civilized, though. Don't do no, it. No, we're not. Don't do it. Ah.